Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. We're gonna do your All Signs Collective reading. There will be a free extended, uh, if you've been watching these readings, I do um, an extended towards the end, which I dive deeper and give you more details about the person that you are connecting with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the energy. We're gonna see what the current energy is with you and this person. We will see what the energy is. We'll look at um, you know, how you see this person, how they see you. In the current energy, we'll pick up things like maybe how they're feeling, maybe what ch challenges there are or blocks there are. Um, and then we will look at the potential of this connection and then we'll go into the extended, all right? So with that, let's just get started. We're gonna start with this Yin Yang Oracle deck. We're gonna get some messages here to start. All right, we already got three cards here. Oh, wow. I have to say here, um, the very first card I'm seeing is separation. So there's definitely somebody here that is thinking about you. There has been distance and separation between you and this person. This is someone, you know, and I'm going to say take the roles how they resonate because it can be reversed or both of you could be feeling this way. But somebody is feeling abandoned. Somebody is longing for you. Somebody is feeling heartbroken. You have regrets. So I feel like there is somebody who's been trying to block their feelings for you, um, but I feel like they can't. So this is someone who maybe has tried to block memories, who's tried to block um, their feelings for you, but this is someone who can't. And now they're in a very regretful, remorse type of energy. This is someone I feel either you pulled your energy back from this person or this person's just been holding back. But there's a there's an energy of distance, separation, and a feeling of wanting to be with that other person. You have renewal here. Okay, look at that. Renewal. Somebody wants a new beginning, a new uh, start here in this energy. It talks about a fresh start. And it's also healing after crisis, okay? Could have been a tower moment, could have been something that happened. You also have here, remember you have light work, okay? Somebody's going through a spiritual awakening, okay? I feel like it's this person. I feel like also too, this is someone who couldn't be real with you in the past. Now that could mean a lot of different things. They could have lied, they could have cheated. This could be somebody who just uh, was not comfortable enough with themselves to be able to open up and be vulnerable with you. That's that energy, pushing that back here. Because bottom of the deck here too, you also have here belief systems. This is someone who didn't want to change in the past. They had a certain belief system, maybe about how things, you know, needed to happen. You know, an example could be this could be someone who felt like you needed to chase them. This could be somebody who felt like, you know, um, who had a lot of ego. And so they made decisions based on ego or based on fear. But I feel like this is someone now who, because they feel a very strong love for you. You know, the separation is also a lost love. So someone who does feel a very strong love for you, the distance, you know, as, it, as they say, the saying goes, distance had, has made this person's heart grow fonder. I feel like they feel more, their love for you is even stronger than what it was in the past. And that may not make sense to all of you, but... I feel this is someone who is having some sort of awakening right now. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have here for the collective? Well, card popping out here. We got the world card. Oh, the chariot. We got uh, strong Cancer, strong Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. 
Wow, the wheel. Eight of Wands. Definitely see some shifts here. Five of Cups, that's that same regret, repression, error, and energy. And we also have here the Hangman. Okay. So I'm going to start here with this Three of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. This is someone who definitely is feeling sad, regretful. Um, they're feeling right now with this Three of Pentacles, there's not a strong foundation between the two of you is the energy that I'm seeing there. I do feel like this is someone, though, who wants things to work. But right now, I feel like there's an energy of uh, limbo, but I'm also feeling there's an energy of some sort of awakening because remember we have this light work. It's a card of transcend transcendence and inner shifts. So through separation, I feel like there's someone here who is going through some sort of inner shift because I see the energy changing here with the eight of wands and the four of pentacles here. So this may be, you may have pulled back your energy from this person. You know, you may have pulled back out of heartbreak, out of grief. Some of you it could be divorce here. Okay. Broken dreams that can talk about, you know, maybe you saw yourself with this person for the long term. And something happened here, this disappointment. And I'm going to say for some of you, it could even be a third party with that three of pentacles there. But look, you have here the spiritual awakening, the world card and the wheel of fortune, two major arcana cards here telling me there is some sort of shift here that's about to happen. The chariot and the eight of wands, renewal, spark, Again, an energy shift. Something I feel here is about to happen romantically is what I'm getting here too. There's definitely an energy of passion, desire. I'm feeling too the sacral chakra. Um, you know, you know, I feel like too this could be somebody who is their sacral their you know, somebody who I feel could be awakening um, and I'm feeling like their uh, sacral chakra may be activated at this time, right? The, there's a huge desire for you is what I'm getting there too. I see this person reflecting. Oh, look at that. Ace of Wands. That's that renewal. That's that spark here. This is someone reflecting here, okay? Thinking about what has, uh, what's invested here. I almost feel like this person feels like, you know what, there's there's more work that I need to do here, okay? Because this is someone who's not content where things are at. There has been some time together. The two of you may have even grown together, but they know that they have more to do with the Seven of Pentacles. And in, in another, um, how should I say? They know there's a strain on this connection or this relationship with you. And that's what I feel like they're struggling with right now. Because they know that in order for there to be that renewal, that spark, again, between you and this person, that they have to put more work in. They have to, uh, you know, they have to make the effort. Now, we have the Nine of Wands. The two of ones. Some of you are dealing, uh, okay, yep, yeah, there it is, ten of swords with that five of cups. Let's get another one. Yep, and the three of swords. And bottom of the deck here, you have the king of cups. So this person has love for you. Um, I'm going to call out uh, some of the signs here. Some of you I know it's important for you, but I really read the energy, but it, this is someone who... Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm also picking up Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We got water here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and I already named the strong signs. Now, you got the nine of wands and you got the two of wands. They're feeling really beat up about something here. Like I said, we're going to clarify. And I feel there was an ending here. There was heartbreak. 
and there may have even been some sort of betrayal or third party situation going on here okay or this could be the energy right of a third party situation coming to an end but let's see here tell me more about this nine of wands oh good gossip here and look at oh my gosh you got bad gossip here too oh my lord i'm feeling with this nine of wands energy and you got community here I'm going to have to say, I feel like there was some third of, of a third party situation, or I feel like maybe this person did something and now like they're the talk of the town or people are talking about them uh, is the energy that I'm getting. Now, it's interesting. You have good gossip and you also have bad gossip, but with this Knight of Wands, this could be somebody who had a good reputation, but maybe they don't have a, a good reputation anymore very interesting energy so let's uh, clarify this two of wands because i see this person planning tell me more about this two of wands now you know what i get here too with this good gossip and this bad gossip here and the and the light work here you know what i'm channeling here too is that they may have, they, you may have said something this person didn't like, but this person also remembers all the positive things that you said. And I feel like almost with this nine of wands, this is someone who um, is, has taken that all in. You know, maybe you did tell this person, you know, this needs to change or, you know, uh, this isn't a good, uh, habit that you have or there was you know maybe you voiced to this person concerns that you had i almost get here too that that can be that energy like you voice what you had to say to this person and your person is actually really thinking about both the good and the bad things that maybe you had said to this person so i was clarifying this eight of wands beautiful you have crystal clear now, what I'm feeling here is this person is coming towards you. The, the chariot is a very determined energy. It's movement forward. Eight of wands. I feel like you're going to get communication from this person because this person is crystal clear that they want to come towards you. Now, I'm also with this energy. You got the resurrection energy. So this is someone wanting to rekindle that spark with you again. I feel like this is after a time this person has maybe gone through a lot of changes in their life. Um, it's also an energy of someone definitely returning. And this crystal clear is someone who now sees the potential between you and them. Okay. But I'm also feeling here too with the resurrection and the crystal clear they know that they have to come towards you in truth. They know that you will see right through any uh, lies um, or untruths that they try to give you, okay? Tell me more about this two of wands. Tell me more about this two of wands. Mm, creative forces. Well, there's that two of wands. I said they're planning here. You also have here um, celebration. Okay, so it almost feels like this person is maybe trying to be co uh, creative about their communication. It you know it is somebody looking at the future there with that two of wands energy. You know it's already uh, for me the two of wands is somebody who already has the intent. Right? There's already a weighted decision. So I feel like this person is looking beyond the decision here to reach out to you to communicate someone who's quite clear that they want to rekindle things with you. But there's something about this person being creative. Now, some of you, um, you know, they may text you. I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I'm feeling they could text you around some sort of holiday 
um, or you know celebration or there may be some sort of event they send you a text and you know they have something to say about some sort of event or something to you I mean maybe it's like you know I know you enjoy this and I saw this you know but you know they're not going to just send you some uh, text that says hey how are you you know but I feel like they're going to be more creative about what the text they say to you because I almost feel like they want a, a shift here in the energy with you so they're going to be creative they're going to do something where they feel like you're going to engage in that conversation with them is really what I'm picking up there. Tell me more about this five cups. Middle of the rose. Okay. You know what I'm really getting here? This is someone in the past who wouldn't compromise. That's what they regret because this can be an energy of compromise, but with that five of cups, this is someone I feel either they couldn't make a decision about a situation with you or they were not willing to compromise or budge. Definitely getting a stubborn energy possibly for some of you. But this is someone who wanted to stay neutral. And I'm going to say if you felt there was somebody uh, influencing this connection, third party, it doesn't have to be another lover. It could be they didn't want to choose between you and somebody else, whether that's family, friend, or, you know, somebody else they were dating. They were staying neutral. It was safer. I feel this person probably felt it was safer to stay neutral than not do anything. You also have here protected. Okay. And, and really this person, they felt like they were protecting them because they didn't want to be vulnerable and make the decision really what I'm getting there. Let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. You have door to power. Okay, you took your power back here. That's what it's showing me. There was an ending here. I'm also feeling like with this protection, because I do feel in these readings a lot of times, you know, the two of you, <coughs> you and this person, marry each other or you both can be in this energy of protection and I feel like this protection is you protecting yourself from this you I feel like you took yourself out of a situation where this person you know couldn't make a decision or you felt you were always having to compete with somebody else whether it was family children friend whoever and I feel like you took your power back and you took your power back because I feel like you may have let things end between you and this person it was like you were standing up for yourself because there were some hurtful events that happened. Heartbreak, disappointment. And it's also an energy of like detaching yourself from somebody who you didn't feel really secure with. Because if somebody can't make a decision and they're in that neutral space... They're not giving you stability and security, especially if there was a third person, okay, involved in the situation. Tell me more about this Three of Swords. Yeah, Inner Warrior. So I feel like a lot of you detached from this person and you found the strength here to kind of find your own healing through this. But what I'm getting here too is that through channeling your inner strength through this situations and, you know, taking the issues at hand and trusting your own power. I feel what's happening here. You've definitely grown here. This is the next level. So I, I take this as like ascension energy as well. But I also take it as now what's it's making this person take things to the next level it's making this person step up because it's almost like you decided you know what i have to accept this situation for what it is it's very very hurtful but i have to protect me because no matter what i do or say with this person how they were in that neutral energy i couldn't force this person to make some sort of decision or to take some sort of action and look, you have here commi commitment, okay? And I feel like that's what's happening here. One, I feel like you decided I'm, I'm committing to me 
I'm detaching here. I'm I'm going to grow and learn from this situation because I'm looking for something more stable and committed. And it's also telling this person that okay, if you can't take things to the next level, then you know I have to detach from this. And that's why this person now is regretting the decisions that they have made. It's caused this person to grow. Tell me more about this hangman. So it's almost like both you and this person are going through an awakening. Yeah, look at that. This is what's opening up a path here. This is what's opening a path and bringing you happiness and joy in your life. And look at the next card is path to plenty. You know, and you got independent. We saw this card yesterday. So you've gained a sense of power, independence, becoming happy, even though this person couldn't make a decision. But I also feel here it's making this person do the work, right? The light works there. The hangman's there. They're having an epiphany. They're having a realization. What they could have, should have done. Could have, should have, would have done. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, how are you seeing this person? Yeah. You're seeing a pattern with this person. Definitely seeing a pattern with this person. And I'm going to say with this survival card, you may be seeing this person who was out for themselves. Wow. How is this person seeing you? This will be interesting. Mm. Oh my gosh. So on point here for your reading. This person did not. This is unlikely source is the unexpected. This person did not expect this from you. And you got pause and reflect. They didn't expect this from you. They didn't expect you to detach. They didn't expect you to gain your power back. They didn't expect you to accept the situation for what it is, no matter how hard it was. And now it's causing this person to pause and reflect. They didn't expect you to be in this independent energy. This is very powerful. I just have to say, wow, really, really strongly here. Let's pull some love oracles. What else can you share with the collective about this connection? <clears throat> so you got friends. You got party celebration remember i said there's something here about something creative second time you're getting celebration now this could be union uh you and this person coming together some sort of social event but i'm also getting here i feel like this could be oh look at that yeah they're going to be creative you know what this is this is validation they're going to be creative about how they come towards you. They're going to ask to meet up with you, go on a date here. And, and like I said, there's something about the message that they're going to be creative about it. Maybe they're going to say, hey, there's this event. I know you like this. Maybe we should meet up. Or maybe they bring up a conversation about a mutual friend or a mutual friend's party or something like that. And you have truth here. Okay. To me, this is communication, but this is also an energy where this is someone who um, you're going to meet up with if you want to, and you're going to get some sort of clarity out of this from this person, okay, after a period of time of distance, okay, and this could be somebody, I'm just going to say this could be somebody who lives at a distance, and they may tell you that they're traveling uh, near you. Let's get some uh, love messages and then, oh, I got to do the extended. Let's do that. I got so caught up in the reading, I forgot. I just have to show you this again because I just feel like it's so powerful, this energy, that they didn't expect this from you. <laughs> and I really feel like you have grown so much. And the universe is bringing you towards 
your abundance, whether you end up with this person or not. So what's this person thinking or feeling about you? Six of Wands. Yep, the Empress. They want your attention. They're seeing you in this Empress energy. And it's about the energy. They want a new beginning. They're definitely in reflection about you. They may see you as getting a lot of attention right now too. Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Yep. That tells me they're going to reach out. They want to reach out to you. They're going to do something to show you that they still care about you, maybe even love you. Um, with that Knight of Cups energy, they want the romantic opportunity. They're determined. This is what we saw earlier too. What's this person's upcoming actions? Okay, the world card tells me they want to change things. They're quite clear about that. Page of Wands. There's the communication. Eight of Pentacles. They're, it shows me their upcoming actions are going to be pretty... Um, enthusiastic about coming towards you making the effort yep planning planning here and making the decision yep again communication to change the energy between the two of you yep nine of wands they're not giving up look at that king of swords too another confirmation there that they're quite clear what's this person's intentions coming towards you what's this person's intentions coming towards you three of pentacles Knight of Swords. They're quite clear that they want to work on things. I feel they want a reconciliation. They want happiness. I feel like this is something they want to do pretty quickly here. Eight of Cups. Strength card. I do feel this person could hold back a little bit emotionally because of their ego. Could be dealing with a Leo. But I feel like this could also be somebody who wants forgiveness for walking away. Hermit, Virgo energy, Seven of Cups, the lovers. Now, if you know that this person, if there is a third party involved here, be cautious with this person because some of you, this could be somebody who wants to be single. They like being alone. Somebody who could have other options here with the lovers, Gemini energy, yep, and the devil. So didn't I say that? Yeah, you're seeing this person as someone who repeats a pattern, okay? This is something you learned from this person. So I would be very cautious with this person. Could be a Capricorn, four of wands. Some of you were dealing with a twin flame. Be cautious with this person because this could be somebody because of their ego, um, and it could even be fears. They question the decisions that they make. And some of you, it may be there's a third party involved here. Now, this can also just be this person like feels very confused, right? They're trying to listen to their inner guidance here because they do feel a very strong connection with you. But I would say if you know there's a third party, a meaning a third party love that you have dealt with in this situation, I would be very cautious with this energy. So uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed your reading. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.